It's important to have a, a dry air strategy if your design is working with a, a low corrosion inside the turbine. That is mainly in order to avoid sort of unforeseen issues or unforeseen breakdowns, which of course can be rather costly. It is normally quite expensive to repair uh, issues with the corrosion. And that is not only corrosion issues on steel, it can also be corrosion issues in relation to the electrical systems, which can actually lead to even main component failures if you have corrosion, for instance, inside a generator. I've actually been in the wind industry for more than 26 years. I feel that slightly proud also to see that this industry have actually grown very much since I did my first turbine back in 1998. I think the dry air strategy is one of the enablers to have a low cost of energy, but also an enabler to actually get a foreseeable OPEX cost over the years and not run into unforeseen warranty cost. I think the overall benefit would be that the power from the wind turbines is getting more reliable, but also a secondary effect that the bankability, so to speak, of the wind turbines is becoming higher. Thereby, there is less concern for investment bankers, etc., to actually invest in the offshore wind turbines.